Allah says, those who were the closest friends in this world, the best friends in this world, on the day of judgment, they will be the biggest enemies of one another. Look at your best friend today. Who is he? Who, who is she? Your best friends. Who are they? The circle. Allah promises you and I that those who are your best friends will be on the day of judgment your worst enemies. Ooh, I can't process that. I can't process that. My best friends will be my worst enemies. How? Imagine I've got friends who are my close friends. They know a lot about me. They ha we help each other. But Allah makes an exception. So the verse is not finished there. Allah says, best friends in this world will be worst enemies on the day of judgment, except for those who are righteous. Those who reminded each other of their duty unto Allah. Those who were muttaqoon. Those who were conscious of Allah. Time of salah came, you looked at each other and said, let's pray. Then you're an exception. But time of salah came and you kept on doing what you were doing and no one reminded each other. On the day of judgment, you were going to, you will say to each other, why did you do that to me? The other one will say, well, you did it to me. We didn't remind each other of goodness. You were sinning. You were on drugs and we did drugs together. You are both in trouble. You committed adultery and you knew about it or someone knew about it and they didn't remind you. Hey, you know, a small tapping. Be conscious of Allah. One day you got to go back to Allah. Let's turn away from our bad habits and let's go into the good thing. No, we did not remind each other of good. We did not warn each other of the bad. So we are losers. That's why Allah says, were well, you best friends? You're going to be worst enemies unless you reminded each other of Allah. That's it. So who are your real best friends? Are they the ones who cheer you on? Cheer you on. You, you are doing haram. You are talking nonsense. You are intoxicated. You gamble. And they gamble with you and they intoxicate with you and they are happy with you and they cheer you on. And you, that's it. That's my best friend. Why? Because you are doing the wrong thing together. That's why you are best friends. They say birds of a feather flock together. Well, these are vultures. That's what they are. Eating the carrion of the people, you backbite together, you slander together, you spread rumor together. Your best friends are those when you forward a message about another person that is negative. They re reply to you to say, don't ever send this message to me again. That's your best friend. On the day of judgment, they will come and you will say, thank you so much. You saved me. I was about to fall into the pits of Jahannam and you saved me. Those are your best friends. Your best friends are those who tell you, I'm not going to talk to you because you did not come for salah. Those are your best buddies. Uh, your best friend will say, because you were drinking alcohol, don't ever speak to me again. That's your best buddy. He cares for you. She cares for you. People care for you. That's why they correct you. They want you to improve your salah, your Quran, your dress code. If someone tells you, my beloved brother, don't dress this way, showing half of your backside because it's a trend. Not all trends will take you to Jannah. Most of them will take you in another direction. And you say, who are you? Look at your own dress first. Go see your children. Relax. The man's children and something else. Pray for them. Maybe when you get an opportunity, you can talk about it. But for now, you were wrong. And the fellow is telling you, please think about correcting yourself. Minimum, you should say, that's a friend of mine. He cares for me. If I tell you the verse that follows from this, you will cry. You will weep because it brings tears to my eyes. Allah says your best friends will be your worst enemies except those who reminded you of Allah, those who were conscious of Allah. And then Allah says, I will personally call out to those who reminded each other of me. And I will say, Ya ibadi la khawfun alaykumul yawma wa la antum tahzanun. O my worshippers, on this day of judgment, there is no reason for you to fear, nor will you be sad. Don't be sad and don't be worried. You did the right thing. 
Who says this? Allah will personally say it to you and I if we reminded each other about what was right and what was wrong because of Allah. 